Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 71 of my Direwolf 20 was that 18 Let's Play. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Today, we got to take a little side step on our journey into uh, industrial foregoing. That's right. Um, first of all, I did make a mistake yesterday. I was looking at the fluid laser baits, which needs the advanced machine frame, thinking that it was the drill. And so I thought I needed four of these instead of just the one. And it's the drill that takes a simple machine frame. But it still doesn't change the fact that in order to uh, get this, well, the advanced machine frame, we have to get this netherite scrap. <laughs> so I am not really one to go trouncing around the nether mining all over the place. Uh, I guess I could set my quarry up in there and do it that way. Um, but I thought there was uh, an interesting way to get the nether scrap because you can get ancient debris from 64 nether rack with the orchid igno. Uh, I'm not, I have no idea how this works. I've never used this flower in Botania before. I don't know if this is something new or just something old that I never got around to getting uh, because this, uh, I can't even see the stuff for the item in the book right now because it's locked behind uh, the portal to Alfheim. So <laughs> without the portal to Alfheim and sending our book through that portal, I can't even see the recipe to see what this flower does and how to use it. So <laughs> um, that has been what I've been trying to do. I started getting ready to uh, do some Terra Steel uh, because I haven't made Terra Steel yet. Um, so I made the Terra Steel Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate uh, out of this stuff. That's why I have these runes up here. Boop, boop, boop. Those are the ones I didn't have. Uh, so, and then I set this up in the proper formation. Uh, so that we could get Terra Steel. And Terra Steel is a mana diamond, a mana pearl, and a mana steel. So there are three different things you have to put on this, and you have to have mana uh, in order to take care of that. Um, so what we have to do is First of all, I have two, two uh, end of flames out here to generate mana. So the only reason I have mana right now is because I would just leave stacks there for a long period of time. And so it's built up this tiny bit that I have, but it it's not going to be enough for very long. I'd like to get it a little bit quicker. So maybe we could... Um, make some some more of these end of flames before we get started to help us along. Um, now I have all my flowers in here, so I don't know how many. Maybe we'll make eight, so we'll have an even ten. And I don't even remember what are the end of let me uh let me get these made up and then I'll come right back. Okay, objective complete. Uh, we have some more end of flames. Um I know they used to uh have restrictions placed on them, so you had to like put them one away from each other, uh, or they wouldn't work properly. Um, I would have to actually read a little bit more. Okay. Um, I'm 
trying to think. Maybe if I put one in here. Uh, let's take a look and make sure they all see the spreader. Oh, see, this one doesn't see the spreader. Neither does the other one. Oh, these must be too far away from the spreader over there. So we can't have those. All right, those are good. Those are good though. So we'll have to place them this side. Works like a charm. Uh, those should also be in range of, yeah, this one is in range of the charcoal. So that's good. And in range of that, so. It's all good. So they should start chewing through all that charcoal a lot faster and get me some more mana because we're going to need it uh, to make the terrace deal. Um, but to do that, we're going to need sparks. And sparks are a pretty basic Britannia thing. Uh, let's get it. That's how you can transfer mana more. Uh, efficiently without having to put a tablet in drain it out and then go take it over there and manually carry it around you can instead transfer them through sparks and it will do it automatically without you having to do anything <laughs> so it's pretty amazing uh and we have all the things that are needed uh so I have, I did make up a few extra petals here, so uh, we really only need two for this, so let's just make two for now. This should be enough for two. Uh, that could get us going for what we need. And lace powder. And this is just a basic spark. Um, there are ways you can augment the sparks to make them do different things. Uh, so, I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's put it on this one. Then here, just because I very rarely use the one with the, the alchemy catalyst on it. So now, anytime I put uh, a diamond, uh, uh, or a mana diamond, a mana pearl, and a mana steel ingot here, it will automatically start draining from this pool. Uh, but uh, I don't know how much mana that takes per se to get it done. Uh, see we need it's not in this basics and mechanics it's in terra steel that's where we're at um Yes, that tells you how to after a plate is set up and ready to receive mana, tossing one mana steel ingot, mana diamond, and mana pearl, each upon the plate will begin the infusion. Picking up any of the items will halt the infusion, causing severe mana loss. All mana for transferred to the plate is lost. The infusion uses about half a mana pool's worth of mana to create a single piece of terra steel. Oh my goodness, so... Uh, yeah, this is not half. Um, so I guess what I could do is, since we're producing a lot of mana here, is I could I could get my little band of mana here. 
uh, make sure this is going out at the mana pool. Aha. And bringing out all the other ones. Oh, wait. Or the other way. Now we gotta have one ingot at the very least to get this portal started. Uh, that's all we need. We need it in nuggets and we can get all the stuff made. Okay, so you're going in. Okay, good job. Oh, we might make it if I get the other pool, too. Oh, is it going to make it? I still want to have some mana on me. It's got some in there. Let's go ahead and uh, drain this guy out. Okay, that's the... Uh, the most Batania I've used in a long time. So, what do we got? Half a pool of mana. Sweet. So, let's get the bits and bobs. We need iron, a diamond, and joy. Oh, it's going to be mana. Oh, and there's not enough in there. Maybe for that. What happened to my diamond? Oh, I bet my diamond went in my, <laughs> my pocket cave. It did. Look, I got seven of them in there. And I just get... Maybe there'll be enough in here. No. All right. One more time. We'll try it. Oh, this one. Can it even go here? Okay. This one has the, the alchemy cast on it. Um. Oh. Okay, okay. I will fix this. Um I need like a crafting table here. Okay, so is it the open crate like this? No, it's just the, uh, oh, cool. You can drag and pick stuff up. And I need a box. So let's get a hopper real quick and I can, uh, Fix this so I don't have to worry about picking these things up again. Oh. And. Kaboom. Okay, so. Oh, how do I break that? Uh, uh, there you are. Nice. And so I just put the hopper on here. I can get on this and do, do, do. Nice. <laughs> oh no, I, I hope that didn't have less than half. get my ring back out. Oh, 
Oh, we did it. Dancer in the dark. We've got a little bit of man in there now. How much coal is this used up, though? Quite a few stacks. So, um, while we continue on with this, because we're going to need more mana to open the portal. So, let's make some charcoal to prepare for it. Wow, there's 700. Yeah, let's throw a few stacks in and have it converted into charcoal. There we go. And that'll be waiting for us in a little bit. So, we got our terror steel. Bizarre. Um, now we need to turn it into nuts. And look in our book. Is, is it going to be in this section? No. There is steel. Yeah, this only explains about the agglomeration plate. This doesn't explain about the portal to Alpine. Alphamancy. There we go. The portal to Alpine. Uh, we need living wood blocks. Which we have living wood blocks. Oh, these are these are logs. They want blocks. So they want no. It says blocks. Eight living wood blocks. Three glimmering living wood blocks. I guess it's because there are variants of the living wood, like you can craft it into uh, different types of living wood, like by wouldn't that, well, used to be able to. What did they do? Um, They take the variants out. Ah, oh, here it is. The pattern is in a diamond like that. So you can use uh, those and make it look a little fancier. Like this, the pattern framed. Fancy schmancy. Okay, so. Now we need three glimmering living wood blocks. Um, wasn't there a second one? Is it this? No. Pattern framed. That's what I have. And then there's framed. Ah, they changed it to to that so that you could t also turn it into a crafting table. So, um, do this. Get some framed ones. Uh, the glimmering. Glimmering living wood is just a glowstone dust. So we just need to get three glowstone for that. That's the biggie. Um, I don't, I think it might need to be the logs for this. Yeah. Okay. So those won't work. George. Mm -hmm. 
flamering living wood logs. There we go. So let me go throw those in there. We don't need those. Uh, an Elven Gateway Core. Elven Gateway Core. And that is uh, Living Wood Logs and Terra Steel Nugget. There we go. Got it. Uh, now it says the things we need are two manacles and two natura pylons. We can we already have one manacle, so we just need to make another one. And the natura pylons. These guys right here. Um, <laughs> oh, because I already had that on my list of things to do, so I took it off. Uh, so we need two of these, which is the last of our six Terra Steel Nuggets. Uh, two Eyes of Ender. We can get that. I think I actually have two Eyes of Ender already made. Yep. Okay, so we got our six nuggets and our two eyes of ender, and we need two of these. So we need four mana steel and two mana diamonds or gold. Okay, we can do this. Uh, but we can make this, but I'm gonna need to get more. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get more mana uh, to open it. I'm not sure that I have enough to do it right now. Um, for you guys. And then that's uh, that's what we need right there. Point and point. Oh yeah. So we have all the things we need. I'm going to take these. These will be for my decoration. Um, I think I'm going to put it like right here. I don't have my bell doohickey. Um, and we need the pattern here. Oh, this couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, put the three here. And I'll be getting me four there. Actually, I think it's supposed to be up one more so that you can... Uh, I, I think it's a little bit more loose now so I can like put the manifolds here. It doesn't require that it be in a certain location, just that it be present in an area. Oh Dude. can't break with you. Okay. Try that again. <laughs> All right. Actually, I think I think we have to place a spark there. Um, so I can make a couple more sparks. Uh, and, and then have it feed into those. I'm not sure if that, that will do the thing. But we'll give it a go. I think it'll work. And sparks. Uh, we should just be able to set them down. I think.
Um, I think I need to tell it to have a certain type of augment on that. Um, yes, we have a spark augment dispersive and dominant, recessive and isolated. Uh, so let me get this set up to where it will drain into there and we'll get enough mana to open up the gateway and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's been a while. Um, I got to making some more charcoal for these guys and I'm like running out of wood and I come out here and I'm looking around and my whirly sprig is gone. Uh, so I have no idea what happened, but I don't see him anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and put a new one here. And so we can get some more wood because I'm, I'm really getting kind of low now. Oh no, there he is. I see him now. Well, I don't know what he's doing then. Uh, I think it's... I don't think my mana is, or my source is coming in very well. Look, he's getting very happy. So, anyway, um, I got one of the pools, a little bit like a quarter of a way full. Uh, so now I need to see what kind of mana we got now. <laughs> So we can try to get this thing open. Uh, something I like to do is gather up a lot of resources to chuck in uh, because the all the mana use is from opening the portal. Most of it is, and the rest of it is just throwing your items in. So make sure you go in. I don't know if I'll be able to get a quarter. Oh, maybe. Oh, sweet. And we got a little bit left. Um, I think that might be enough. I think it might actually be enough. And I left, I left these off because it's just a lot easier to get the uh, the rings and tablets in there um, when uh, <laughs> when those things aren't on. Otherwise, you've got to stand there and get it in just right and stuff. So, um, isn't that how you're supposed to do it? Just to my open gateway core. Okay, um, they changed now. At least two mana pools with mature pylons directly above them would be needed within 11 by 11 by 11 area around the port. The initial activation of the portal, we believe, would cost a huge amount of mana from the pools and would be performed by right clicking the core with a wand of the force. Uh, Portal is designed to draw mana from all pools with pylons equally. Uh, so uh, maybe it's maybe quarter isn't enough. Maybe I have to have half. Uh, if so, that's going to be a while longer. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure that I will have enough time or enough charcoal to get that going so maybe I think I might have some more dark oak over here oh I do but it's not a whole lot of that um, yeah I don't have a whole lot over here but I guess it's more I 
guess that'll work. That'll work. Oh boy, it's getting dark. And let's throw these guys over here. Boink, boink, and um, boink. Haha. <laughs> Just in time to sleep. Uh, this is taking a lot longer than what I expected, and I've kind of run out of time to record for today. Uh, but I do have lots of charcoal to run through, and I've got more being made in here. Uh, so. I will, in between episodes, I will um, prepare stuff in a chest, a whole bunch of stuff, just to um, get us going. We can open the portal, throw the stuff through, and then not have to worry about it for a while. Like, I can get tons of glass prepared. Look, I've already got, like, a whole bunch here. That, that might be enough to throw in. Uh, one of these chests. Uh, there's also um, special stone. Um, the you got the. Uh, oh no! Wait, it's dream wood. I think dream wood. Dream wood is the wood. So you have to have living wood in order to turn it into dream wood. <laughs> um, so I will try to prepare a whole bunch of living wood. I mean, I have a little bit out here. You know, a few stacks, but maybe I might prepare a little bit more. I have like eight or nine or ten stacks of living wood logs ready to go. Oh. Yeah, too bad there. Um, so now that I use most of this, I can get uh, get more sand and grass being made. And uh, also the stone. I'm not sure what it's called. that in. Does it even have uh, an option to like what it can be turned into? Is there no? Is there no upgrade to that? I thought there was. It's just dream wood, the glass, be, oh, we don't have that many ender pearls here. I have to go get a few more of those and just gather up materials. I don't think I have a whole lot of diamonds to be making like stacks and stacks. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my, my quarry ran out and I used a whole bunch getting all of these set up. Like each one of these add-ons was four diamonds. It took a diamond gear for each one. So that's 12 per machine. <laughs> and I have five machines that I fully upgraded. So that was a good chunk. Uh, but well worth it, I think. Well worth it. Uh, but I picked up my quarry because I was planning on uh, just converting over to the industrial foregoing, but with the amount of diamonds that I've already used, I may need to go ahead and set that back up and get it going again, uh, just so we can have diamonds coming in uh, since it's so low. Uh, yeah, so... 
Anyway, I will go ahead and end the episode here and I will work on those things off camera and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.